We had to cut them off. Let's just cut them off. I don't care. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and another episode on the Vauxhall Corsa. Uh, apologies, it's been a couple of weeks since I put the last video up and it's just because I'm so busy with family life and unfortunately I think with this channel it's not going to be a case I can post every single week. I'd love to, but I think we, you know family comes first at the end of the day. We've been really busy. Um, the weather also has not been brilliant. I mean, if you're not from the UK, then you can just assume it's going to rain pretty much every week. <clears throat> and it's usually at the weekend when you want to get stuff done uh, and then during the week when you've got to work, it's lovely and sunny uh, anyway enough waffle um, we're gonna pick up now um, where I made a phone call uh, and asked my brother-in-law to come over he's a lorry mechanic and he's got a bit of a better tool selection than I have to see if he can help us get that exhaust manifold off the front of the engine so we can get the head off and inspect it a bit more and you are going to want to watch until the end of this video because we found out something that we didn't even notice and we should have spotted straight from the start. So hope you enjoy it. Remember again, if you're not subscribed and you're a casual viewer to the channel, it really helps me. It supports the channel. It'll help us grow. If you can just take two seconds to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification um, icon. And yeah, enough said. Let's get on with the video and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much. some water in there? No. Oh. If you'd have looked at the indicator in the picture, we'd have known it had water in it, wouldn't we? Yeah, you just bash it, mate. <sighs> yeah, this wing's going to be replaced anyway, isn't it? Just so you know, I'm not in the mood for kissing. <laughs> Yeah. Look. Oh, wow. What's that? That's one of Daddy's attempts to get them off, wasn't it? Yeah. Should have just called Uncle Ryan in the first place, shouldn't he? Yeah. Ah, is that the last one? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, mate. Seriously. And now? Yeah. 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 So there's two e torques further down because they decided they wanted to put another bracket down here with two extra bolts on it, just, you know, so it's... Just safety safety. Yeah, extra safety, you know. <laughs> Not that you really need it. <sighs> yeah. Don't worry if it catches the um, bottom skirt, because it already has done about three or four times. The car is moving. It's moving up, isn't it? it is, mate, isn't it? Ryan's a bit, Uncle Ryan's a bit chunky, he says, so I need plenty of room. <laughs> go on, look. Yeah. Don't go underneath it, George, whatever you do. Yeah. Oh, there's more room now. Do you want an axle stand under there as well? Depends how much you twist your jack. Uh, let's put an axle stand underneath <laughs> it. <laughs> I'll back in a second. Yeah, that stupid bracket. There. I don't know what is it around that side. Yeah. Can you shine the camera underneath or put the camera underneath it so they can see? Oh, yeah. 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 Do just do a voice over on it or something. Break it there, over there. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> oh, uh, no, you can't even get on them. That's, what I thought would be easy is not that cheesy. I might have to... I reckon aftermarket decat exhaust, mate, when I put it back together. <laughs> George, please come back so I can see where you are, mate. Come here. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, he's supposed to get on them. He yeah. must have to take it off here. I wonder if... The thing is, because that's held on to that. Oh, George, get out of the way. I'm just measuring up a bit. <laughs> oh, no. Might be able to cut them off. No, just cut them off. I don't care.
George, don't go around the back. I'm cut. Yeah, I might need to weld it up a little bit for you. Yeah, but it's just stupid. It's this, basically, isn't it? This mechanism here. Yeah, that you can't get... These two bolts are here. The thing is, on the other one I saw, you've actually got... Do you have the two... Um, yeah, the e torques behind here normally, mm. and there's a plate across the front with a hole in the front, so you can feed the socket through. So I'll find one of them and change it over. But yeah, so in theory, the engine head just needs. I can't think of how many bolts are left in it now. Anyway. So we'll take the pot there off now if you want. Yeah, it'll take a minute. George? Yeah, I'll get the tools out for a minute, we'll put it down. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the bolts off, so I think I've got all these ones off this side as well. They're all off. So, you do it, you should lift it. Well, that, that's part of the main case. This separates there. Okay. So, yeah, oh. as you can see. So, I've got you. Um, <laughs> look how much lower that one is to that. Yeah, but I think that one might not just be your full extent. Um, do you want to put this outside? Yeah, so well, let's have, have a look at the bottom. Oh, 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 hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, God, it. It's all right, I've got some cleaner, brake cleaner, I'll clean it up. Yeah. I mean, the tap is out too bad. No, when I put the bore scope down, these all seem fine, like they haven't hit anything. They look no. all right, don't they? I don't say they're bent. Oh, they're all flush. I mean, they got cleaned, don't get wrong, but. And check it's not. The oil smell old. That's, the amount of oil I took out is about a litre. So that doesn't look like old oil though. No. But yeah, so that's obviously Seized. a lot lower than that, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is that might not, it literally might just be to put that where, I oh know that should be lower, you probably got your comrade like bent, innit? Okay, so you join me the following day after Ryan managed to get this bit off. We actually ended up having to cut, I'll show you, the studs off. There was nothing to really get onto to get that off. Um, so yeah, we just cut them off. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll, on the manifold, I'll make something work when we come to put it together. This was the other thing that was really annoying, this kind of safety device. There was no way of getting purchased onto this to unbolt it. So now that the bracket's off, I can actually do that. Um, one thing we didn't see until we got the exhaust off was that. So something has punched or tried to punch its way out of the sump, which will explain why there was hardly any oil in it, because obviously the reservoir, if I turn around that way, sorry, it would have drained down to about this point, and that's probably the amount that we actually had left. So I've just cracked off this bolt, this bolt, and one down there. And now I'm just gonna take off all the remaining E10 torques to get the sump out, and now I can lift it out of the way. So let's get on with that. Okay, so that threw me. There's two small bolts. You couldn't actually see, they're in a channel. It goes down underneath here, just between the, uh, where the gearbox housing is. And they were still holding it in place, but wow, look at this. So, that's had a whacking great wallop. Uh, let's see if we can find some bits. What we got, we got a bit of K 
casing is that? Some more bits. Yeah, that looks like the same sort of material as that. But there we go. What else? More bits of casing. So, I'm going to guess something's bent, pushed down lower than it should have done, and smacked that and just taken it out. So, that's going to be level with piston four. So, let me see if I can get that rotated round and we'll take it out and have a look at it. So, that shouldn't be able to go down like that. I literally just tapped it with the hammer just to see if it would like loosen at all and it dropped all the way to the bottom. And now I've got daylight coming through from the bottom of the car, so I'll lean forwards and just have a look and oh yeah. There's a hole. That's not supposed to be there. I can see my driveway through the engine. So on that basis, it's just such a shame because the head's so good on it. So, uh, Let's see if we can just buy a block, maybe a remanufactured one, so we know that the head's been skimmed and everything else. Because other than that, we're at this stage now where the gearbox, I'm guessing, should be supported enough with that one engine mount, but I'll check with Ryan and see what he thinks. But from a point of view, what's left to do, if I take the starter motor off, and then I think there's like a housing down there, possibly for the prop shaft. I've got the engine rebuild kit, timing chain and everything else. So if I can just find a block with a decent um, set of pistons and con rods in it, I could just stick our head straight onto that and then bolt everything back up. I won't need to disconnect any of the front end and drain all the aircon lines because we can literally support the aircon pump and leave that in place, pull that block out, drop the new one in and bolt it all up. Yeah, I'll go have a look on the internet now and see what I can find. Okay, so I've had a look online and you can just buy a block, but I've been doing some thinking and I don't know the history of that block. So we could buy that, it's around about 250 pounds we could marry the head up to it and get the engine back together use all the service kit and everything else but i'm just thinking i'm far better off buying an entire engine something i know that's been run up that works um that just needs potentially a really good service and i've literally in the last 20 minutes ordered one so i was really lucky i found one that was on the internet for around about i think 600 pounds um called the guy and we did a deal at 500 plus postage so that should be here next week um and the wife probably won't be very happy about this but i've also just ordered an engine crane as well so ryan sent me a text saying um well i could do with an engine crane when i asked him if he had one um so yeah so i bought an engine crane as well um trying to sell the house and no garage and now having to house an engine crane somewhere. I don't think I'm going to be very popular, but Ryan said he needs to borrow it after I've used it. So we won't have to store it for very long. So engine crane is due for delivery tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping that with, with that, we've got no more issues. I was thinking, oh, buy a trolley, just put the engine on a trolley, take the front end off the car, slide it in. But it's like, an engine crane is going to get multiple uses in, in, in what we're trying to do. So yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. Um, if you've got any comments, send us your comments. Um, one interesting thing I did find out though, the engine head itself, it sold as seen, you know, untested. They're still going for like 250 pounds. So I'm going to list that on eBay as well. That'll halve the amount we spent on the engine. Um, and we've got a brand new starter motor and all the new bits to fit to it. So that should be a really solid unit. And it's the same mileage or very similar mileage to the one that we're taking out. So we haven't got any mileage discrepancy there when we go to list the car when it's all back together. 
So yeah, like I said before, if you like it, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, please, it takes a couple of seconds. It helps me out massively, and it is completely free to do so. Uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. I got this from Aldi. Mommy, I got this from Aldi. I'm here, Aldi. Sarah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.